to the latest on Decision 2024 this evening, where the Biden-Harris campaign, they held a star-studded fundraiser last night in New York City. It was hosted by Stephen Colbert and attended by President Biden, along with former presidents Barack Obama and Bill Clinton as well. President Biden discussed the importance of the upcoming election and actually joked about the former president, Mr. Trump's policies. He wants to get rid of the ability of anyone anywhere in America to ever to choose. I mean, all the things he's doing are so old. Speaking of old. The Biden-Harris campaign, they said that they raked in $26 million, which they say is a record amount for any single event. So with that news, let's bring in NBC10 political commentator Sue O'Connell. Uh, Sue, President Biden mm -hmm. is either neck and neck or he's losing to former President Trump in the polls, right? I wouldn't say, I don't think anyone would say that his approval ratings could be described as particularly high. Nope. However, since January, the man sure can raise some money. Indeed. If you're running his campaign, how do you spend that money to boost him in the polls or are his sights sort of set on another goal right now? You know what, Colton? The only goal is to win the general election and use that money that they're raising to achieve that goal. So first, if I was the Biden campaign manager, I would make sure I had the infrastructure in place to raise the $1 billion that he's going to need to win. And then second, I would do some massive testing on Biden's proposed ad campaign, and that would include TV, radio, social media, just to make sure that all of the advertisements and messages are effective in reaching the right people. And then I would spend, spend, spend on the production quality of those ads. And then third, I would run wall to wall, nonstop, stop, elect Biden ads in the following states and only the following states, Pennsylvania, Michigan, Wisconsin, Arizona, Georgia, Nevada, New Hampshire, and North Carolina, because since the electoral college process is how we choose our president, these are the only states that matter because they're swing states and they're up for grabs. So if Biden starts to do all of this right now, I expect you're going to see his poll numbers continue to go up. All right, we're going to get in just a second to the money that, that Trump has coming in his way in just a moment. But if you were Trump, right, and you mm -hmm. just saw that Biden raised a historic amount of money in one night. Are you nervous? Is this is, is that something that he's capable of, of being? Is that a feeling that he's capable of having? I can't imagine what kind of feelings he has, but <laughs> if he's able to, but if I'm on his campaign or, uh, you know, on his team, uh, I would say that Trump and the Republicans, they, they've already been nervous. Why? Well, because Trump's campaign and the Republican National Committee, they have been way behind Biden and the Democrats when it comes to fundraising and cash on hand, even before Thursday's historic event. So remember, while Biden and the Democrats are going to use this money to win the election, Trump and the Republicans could, could I say, use some of these contributions to pay for Trump's ongoing legal bill. So if I were Trump, I'd be very worried about where I'm going to get all this money from. Well, listen, one of those avenues, right, this is what we were just sort of talking about, Donald Trump's Truth Social app. It, it went public recently, mm -hmm. and he's about to have access to a lot of cash himself. But I've heard you say that this money isn't necessarily readily available to him, sort of like Biden's money is right now. So what exactly do you mean by that? Yep. So it's a little complicated, but but stay with me. So Truth Social went public this week, and that means that regular people like you and me could buy stock and become owners, partial owners of Truth Social. Government filings show that Truth Social was operating at a huge loss, but people went ahead and paid a lot for the stock, more than it was valued because they support Trump, right? And that resulted in Trump's Truth Social stock being worth far more than it should have been, worth at about $4 billion, the entire company, right? So on paper, that's the value. But if Trump sold his stock today, he could use that $4 billion to fund his campaign and pay his legal woes. Problem solved. But here's the catch. Trump is not allowed to sell his stock for at least six months unless the company's board grant him a waiver. So if he gets the waiver and he sells his true social stock, it could deflate the stock price. And that means people who paid a lot of money for the stock to support Trump would lose a lot of money. And it also means that the value of Truth Social is likely to drop anyway because many investors and experts are considering it a meme stock, 
I don't have time to explain that, so Google it. So we're just going to have to stay tuned and see how easily Trump can get at that money, Colton. All right, Sue O'Connell, we appreciate you providing some context to the news You're here welcome. on NBC Tim Boston, as always. Hey, and a reminder, you can catch Sue every Sunday after Meet the Press right here on NBC Tim Boston. However, this week's show is preempted for Premier League soccer, but you can still catch an all-new episode online or on our sister station, NECN, or on our Fast channels.